Who was more important to this second half season run for the Los Angeles Lakers? D'Angelo Russell, LeBron James, or Anthony Davis? Well, when he was on the court, I'm going to say Anthony Davis. I mean, he's a defensive player of the year candidate. He's definitely, of course, LeBron is still the best player on that team. D'Angelo Russell has been pretty solid for the most part, but I would say Anthony Davis. I mean, the Lakers brought him in a few years ago for the exact reason when he's healthy. He's a good defender. He's well in the paint. He's a center, not a power forward, as much as people want to say. But I think Anthony Davis has been the most important for this second half run for the Lakers. Because, you know, the, the Lakers were playing well at the beginning of the season, and then they won the IST tournament. And then after the tournament, like, they just fell off the, the face of the earth. And then, you know, you have guys, change, the rotation in the lineup starting to get switched up. Then you had D'Angelo Russell's name and trade talks and all types of stuff was happening before the trade deadline. And AD, it's just like, man, sometimes he can't win for losing, especially with me. Because you have to credit AD somewhat for his availability. He he seemed to have been out on the basketball court this year more than what we've seen in the past. And when he's been in the in the game, he has definitely um, stood up to the challenge. But man, the big big moments this season, AD has not always been there. Man, like we saw at the beginning of the year, him facing Nikola Jokic at versus the Denver Nuggets. You know, he, he start off 15 points hot in the first quarter, then go scoreless for an entire second half. We saw AD do that two times this season. And then, like I said, being out with a headache or an eye injury, a lot of little things, man. We need AD to consistently be that guy. Um, but, you know, I agree without the production that he did provide the Lakers this year, we wouldn't at least be in this position. And kind of similar goes the same for D'Angelo Russell in my eyes. You know, the play that D'Angelo Russell leveled up to once his name was in trade talks really helped elevate, you know, the Lakers into the winning streaks and things that they had. So D'Lo was very, very pivotal uh, in that late success that the Lakers pulled off after their struggle in the second half of the year. But like you said, man, Goat James is still – always evolves around LeBron at the mm -hmm. end of the day, whether yeah. the things that you see or the things that you don't see. So yeah. it's tough. I could see how people could say AD has been the most valuable for the Lakers in this second part of their run. Uh, I'm a, I'm a say, I, I'll, I'll, I'll say AD. I'll say AD. I think his impact on both ends of the court really means something. And it's held a well, with Anthony Davis, Hanking I mean, you get the good and the bad at the same time, so. That's a fact. That's a fact. Part of the process. What's up, Hank? I think you might be muted, bro. If you can hear me or if you can't. Can you hear me now? Now we got you. We doing? got big Hank in the building. So, Hank, we just chopping it up, bro, um, talking about who is more important for this second part of the run for the Lakers. Remember, after the IST, they struggled. But then they found a way to turn the corner, and now we're here. Who's been the most important person for that turnaround? Um, it's either AD or D-Lo. Which um, one would you pick the most out of those two? I know we always go with the consistency of AD, but d has been playing pretty well. Without him, I think this run wouldn't be as, as good as, you know, this second half of the season. The Lakers actually done really, really well um, after the All-Star break. So I think d has been a big part of it. For the latest and greatest on your Los Angeles Lakers, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers, and we appreciate the support. Follow us on social media at Lakerland Show and join our Playback TV room for our free VIP access to our Lakers watch parties and, of course, the Lakerland podcast. That's playback.tv slash Lakerland.